Tommy, when you said we were going to use a dollhouse to talk about insulation, you didn't tell me you had an infrared camera. This is really cool. Kevin. What are you looking at? Well, actually, what I've done in a dollhouse is I've insulated half of the dollhouse. Okay. And I put some heat lamps inside. Right. So by looking through the infrared camera, you can really see the heat loss and where it is. So on this, heat is represented by the sort of orangey colors right. and cooler tempers are represented by the blue. Right. So the real bright colors, you can see wow. the windows have a tremendous amount of heat loss. Yep. On the left side, you can see the wall and the roof is really bright, so there's heat loss on that side. And so over here on this side, the roof is kind of blue, and right. so that's telling us the heat is not escaping from the right, and it's really escaping from the left? Exactly. Wow, okay. So when you guys talk about insulation, you throw around this term R-value. Yes. Well, our value is actually the resistance of heat transfer through the insulation. Okay. And so when I'm thinking about how much insulation I need, what do I think about? Well, you think about two things. Where do you want to put the insulation, and what region do you live in? And when you say where, you're talking about where throughout the house. Well, whether or not you're thinking about a wall or a roof. Okay. Okay. Now, the biggest heat loss is through the roof. Right. So you can always add insulation in your attic, but it's harder to do it into the wall. So maybe I'm not adding as much to the walls as I am up to the roof. Right. And in terms of where I live? Region. All right, so let's say if you live in the warmer climate, the southern part. The R value that's required for the roof is R30. Mm -hmm. The middle of the country, R38. And the cold region up near Canada, R49. Okay. So I want to add it to the attic, and I live up in a cold region, so mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to go up to my attic, right. add some insulation. How do I know what I have up there? How much? You're going to measure it. So if you climb up into your attic, and you may have a roof truss, you may have a joy system like this, and you may have insulation lying in between the joists like that. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is take a tape measure and measure down the side of the insulation until you touch the uh, top of your plaster jo uh, wall, wall board and you measure the height of the insulation. In this case, we have three and a half. Right. All right, three and a half times 3.5 per inch is an R13. So the R value of this bat of fiberglass is 3.5 per inch. Exactly. So I want to get to the region that I live in by adding insulation. That's awesome. All right, so now I know how much I've got. I can think about how much more to add. And most importantly, I can find out that you actually do have a heart. See, I do. I have a big heart.